bottom line this, you guys. Okay, number one, vaccines work. They are highly effective. In fact, one of the most effective vaccines we've ever had at preventing the transmission of this virus, keeping us out of the hospital and keeping us alive. But the reason that we're putting the masks back on is to protect the unvaccinated. So if I had a party in my house with fully vaccinated people, I don't have to wear a mask. But if I'm going into Target or I'm going to the grocery store, I don't know who might be at risk. And I'm wearing the mask to protect them because the vaccine has already protected me. It was a crazy scene in Tennessee after a school board voted to reinstate a mandatory face mask policy for students. And some parents got super angry. Take a look. You can leave freely, but we remind you, and we know you will never be allowed to I don't understand anyone who isn't at least acknowledging that children are a very vulnerable population and the percentage of children who are affected by COVID is going up rapidly. This is how they identify. You're talking about facts and stats. This is who they see themselves to be. And when you speak about anything other than that, they see it as, a, as an attack, like an attack on their family. Governor Andrew Cuomo, he announced he is indeed resigning. A week after that bombshell report by the Attorney General that found he sexually harassed nearly a dozen women. It was gonna happen whether he wanted to or not because he could have gotten impeached. You either take the win, you take the loss that way, or you resign. He was not gonna be let go of this. This is going to continue. Now he's facing criminal charges and he doesn't wanna be a sitting federal official while facing criminal charges. So he's looking at law firms now, he's gonna lawyer up, and you probably won't hear from him for a long time until the trial. He's gonna shut up if his lawyers can tell him to do the right thing. Nick Cannon is sharing his thoughts on marriage and monogamy. Charlemagne the God asked him about having four kids with three different women. Nick responded by saying that the idea of marriage or just being with one person is an outdated concept. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm okay with everything that he's saying there. You have the mean to do that, why not? How, why do most people, why do they break up? Why do people get divorced? Not so much because of finances, because people have a hard time with monogamy. Let's be honest. Hygiene have been in the news lately, habits, with how celebs bathe their children. And you said that you guys wait for the stink. What is your hygiene schedule? And do you stand by your position with your kids? First of all, can we just acknowledge how hilarious it, it is that celebrity kids' hygiene is a thing in the news? I know. I'm like, like we're, we're, we're in a, we're in a and that's what we're talking about. A lot of people were commenting on Johnny Weir's hairdo. There he is. He wore it at the closing ceremony. It included a bouffant bun with a blinged out Olympic ring hairpiece. I say it's fabulous. <laughs> Y'all leave Johnny Weir alone. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, if Johnny Weir is going to bless us with their presence on national television, then we know that Johnny Weir is going to come with Olympic Fabulosity. Oh, okay, yeah. don't get mad at people for showing up and giving what they supposed to was have gave, okay? <laughs> President Obama celebrated turning 60 with an A-list birthday party over the weekend. The Obamas held the bash at Martha's Vineyard Saturday night, but the guest list got trimmed down from the nearly 500 people who were originally invited after some criticized the decision to even hold a big party in amidst the latest COVID crisis. I would only imagine President Obama did everything possible to keep everybody safe. I really will give him that benefit of the doubt. But to your point, optically, I yeah. don't, given his stature, I do not think that was the right move, in my opinion. Prince Andrew is being sued in U.S. federal civil court by one of his longtime accusers, Virginia Roberts Jufri claims the prince sexually abused her on several occasions when she was just 17. This story keeps going underwater and then resurfaces again. I want somebody to roll over. I want them to get a big fish, them start throwing names out there, and then you don't think it's yeah, going to happen? that ain't going to happen. I feel like it Did might. you see how uh, Mr. Epstein passed yeah. away? We are getting a first look at the new miniseries about the Bill Clinton, Monica Lewinsky scandal. It is called Impeachment, American Crime Story. Okay, so y'all are going to sit here and tell me that this 20-something-year-old Paige was responsible for this entire scandal. No, a married man was going after her. And regardless of what the situation was, she wasn't married, he was married, he was the president, the onus was on him, and the 20-something-year-old girl went down with her. Come on, come on, really? She took the White House and the president down? Okay, y'all, okay. So yeah, I do want to hear her side of the story. <laughs>